now what is the need of experience replay so this is quite interesting so first of all we need to understand what is catastrophic forgetting so in case uh, so usually when we train a reinforcement learning agent uh, by default the the usual flow is that you take an action you got a reward you provide a feedback to the network you again take an action you get a reward you again provide a feedback so one sample at a time we are training the whole network now in case of complex networks this can lead to catastrophic forgetting that means the model might get confused and start taking similar actions for a similar looking states which can lead to fatal uh, fatal rewards so in for example assume that we are at a state s when you take an action a and you got great results great rewards now you get a state very similar to s that is s1 the model might start taking the same action a which might yield to very bad rewards on s1 which is very similar now in this case the model will get confused okay actually what should i do should i be taking uh, a or should i be taking a so here you can see that uh, because of we are updating the network uh, after every sample the model is not able to train properly so in this case action uh, experience replay come into the picture so what we do in experience replay uh, first of all instead of single updates we would be doing batch updates so the case of the zigzag manner of the loss uh, should get reduced apart from that the model would be updated uh, trained with mix of new and old memories so it shouldn't be the case that we are training it with just the most recent samples but we are training it with the previous samples also so it won't be the case that the batch uh, the data that we are training the model would always change so it will have a mix of previously seen experiences as well as the new experiences and that is why we are implementing and that is why experience replay is implemented using a dq so in case of a dq uh, you take a very big length like 2000 and if the batch size is 200 so what happens is once the dq length reaches 2000 what happens is that uh, the new memories are pushed in and older memories are pushed out so as you know the concept of queues they are based on principle of fifo that is first in first out so uh, you will be taking random samples and eventually the batch that we are taking from this 2000 samples dq is also getting updated with new memories but they also consist of old memories as well so once the new uh, new training sample is generated it is pushed in and the older ones are popped out because of the FIFO uh, mechanism that queues work on and hence the DQ is able to maintain mix of old and new memories together.